Despite a town and country family is mourning the loss of their family dog after it came in contact with a toxic toad. Tonight, our Brad Davis is taking action for you with what pet owners need to be on the lookout for this time of year. It's unimaginable. I mean, I just got the call, so I, I still haven't fully processed it. Kim Brown can't believe their family dog, Kira, is dead. The six-year-old terrier was let out into the fenced-in backyard just after sunset Saturday night. Within minutes, the dog came into contact with a toxic bufo toad. I had actually never heard of a bufo toad. Um, I, I certainly had no idea they were in my yard. The bufo toad has two glands that secrete toxins as a defensive measure. The effects on Kira were almost immediate as they rushed her to the vet. Her seizures were so bad, her um, whole body was stiff. Her jaws were clenched tight. She was foaming at the mouth. Her pupils were dilated. Doctors at Blue Pearl Veterinary Hospital placed Kira in their ICU, but she died Monday morning. It doesn't take very much of this toxin to, to cause the arrhythmias and the, and the seizure activity. The bufo toad is most active from dusk to dawn, and our recent rains have brought them out earlier than usual. The summer months are their peak season. We're seeing more and more of these out in our environment. So uh, it's time to be vigilant of this. If uh, you've seen these toads in the yard, you should walk your dog on a leash. If your pet licks or picks up a Bofu toad in their mouth, getting to a vet quickly is key. But there is one thing you can do immediately. Rinse the mouth out significantly so that they decrease the amount of toxin and contact time of that toxin in the mouth. In Tampa, Brad Davis, ABC Action News.